Is that Miranda Cosgrove? So I can't eat that. I'm never gonna look at a bottle of foundation the same again. Oh man, Beauty Trippin' is back! Man, this is like the best day ever. It's like, it's like a dream come true to be back in the car, driving to do things we have no idea about. But I'm excited, I'm excited to be with you. What do I do with my hands? I don't know how to film in a car anymore, I forgot. <laughs> You guys, we're in the middle of the valley, which is something we're not quite used to these days. How we get here? I don't know. Why are we here, more importantly? I feel like this handy dandy little iPad will tell us. You guys know the drill. If you've never watched Beauty Trippin' before, this is what happens. We get a clue, like Tyra Mail, and that clue <laughs> tells us what our, 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 our oh. excursion could possibly be. That's it says, get ready for Mission Unstoppable. Mission Unstoppable? Oh, I do like the Mission Impossible movies. That's what I was thinking. Whoa. Where are we? I have no idea. Well, this is cool. This is dope. Look, there's like science happening. Oh, Plants whoa. are an important part That's of our whole... natural world. Is that Miranda Cosgrove? Some species are making like trees and leaving. Okay, seriously, what is happening? What's Come on, you guys. On? Hey, Drew. Hey, oh Sinead. God, Come over here. Is she turn? Wait, what are we doing at this school? Wait, <laughs> let's go Where find her. She called us by name. It's important. Oh my oh gosh, my hi. Wait, it's nice to meet you. Dude, it you are so nice to meet you. Thank you guys for coming. Do you like have any idea where you are? No, no you were in there and now you're in here. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. So cool. So you guys are on the set of a show called Mission Unstoppable, and it's actually about women that are in science, technology, engineering, and math. Amazing. Oh, dope. It's on weekends on CBS. Wait, so what are we doing today? So I heard you guys sometimes have trouble picking out foundations, and so do I, like matching the color perfectly. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, by a little bit, she means we're terrible at it. So bad. Did you bring us here to lecture us about it? Because we do need a lecture. <laughs> mm -hmm. But something kind of cool is going on. I brought in a cosmetic chemist, and she's going to help us, using science, figure out how to pick the perfect foundation. Oh my gosh, amazing. Would that, you guys be up for that? Yes. Heck yeah. You want to go to this? Yes. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so first off, we're gonna put on our lab coat. Ooh, so wow. Official. I'm like weirdly excited to I wear know. a lab coat. We're never this professional. And right. this she. is Cassie. Hello. So Hi. I'm gonna introduce Hi. you guys. We have our scientist, Cassandra Celestin, AKA the beauty chemist. AKA, you do makeup and chemistry, right? Yes, I that do. That is so cool. I have a master's degree in chemistry that focuses on cosmetic science. Oh, it's amazing. Cool. So cool. Yes, yes, it's, it's the best job ever. I absolutely love it. How did you get into chemistry? Like, what interested? Okay, so I always loved chemistry, and my aunt was a chemist, and she used oh. to take me to work with her. My mom then got me a chemistry set when I was eight and that's when I absolutely fell in love with oh chemistry. Gosh. Yes, mom, <laughs> come through with the set. Seriously, yes. where was your mom my sophomore year of high school? I knew the chemistry set. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the chemistry behind foundation. We're really bad at foundation, yeah. this is the thing. For whatever reason, whenever we have to order foundation from different companies, it's always wrong. Always, always wrong. wrong. Oh, yeah. always oh. wrong. Ah. We could do all their little tests and quizzes and polls and color matching you know, combinations online, and then we get it, and we're like, oops. It's like 14 shades lighter than my, my forehead. It's hard because there's so many different types of foundation. Mm -hmm. But the more you know about the chemistry of the foundation, the easier it will be for you to pick out a foundation. So there are many types of foundation. You have to consider the coverage and the finish. So you have full coverage, medium light, and you have different finishes, like satin, dewy, glowy, matte, or whatever. Ooh, satin? Mm. I never heard of satin. I heard oh, dewy yes. and matte. What's yeah, satin? that's satin. It's a combination of matte and dewy. Oh, I like that. Perfect combination. Like if that. you have the right formula, that is. Right. For example, if you see a formula or a product that says dewy, or glowy, uh, it most likely has emollients and high reflective pigments in it. Mm, emollients. Mm. Yeah, right. emollients, mm -hmm. yes. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> emollients make the skin soft, and for example, I use isodecane in this, and it softens up the skin, and it also helps um, solubilize the pigments. Mm. But the thing is, dewy is probably more emollients and natural oils, where glowy is going to be more high reflective pigments, which mm. is mica. You mm. do know what mica is, right? Mica is a combination of minerals in the earth sediment. What they do is they grind it up finely to get that nice uh, reflective 
uh, quality in order to put in products. So you have the sparkles and you have the ones that you use for highlighters, for oh, example. Oh, nice. Do oh, okay. you just have like bottles of that at your house? Because I would be just putting that into I all of my stuff. Actually, I do. <laughs> yeah. My skin's super dewy, I think. It's like really oily. I usually mm -hmm. go with like matte because my skin is like pretty Same. Oily. Today I'm going to show you a foundation that's good for everyday use. It's a light liquid formula that's a liquid to powder and it has that nice sensory feel mm. and you can wear it every day. So I made this base earlier and it's yellow because I only put one pigment in it. The yellow pigment because everybody has yellow. It's a neutral color. Oh, is it like the undertones? The undertones, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. You already know some stuff. I don't even I know, know what some things. <laughs> and these are the ingredients we use to actually make this base. All of these went in here. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Like, wow. Okay. So, what we're going to do to help you get your right shade is we're going to add these pre dispersed pigments. These pigments are uh, silicone based okay. because oh, yes. the formula we're making is a water and silicone formula. What's the deal with silicone in skin? Because I know it's in all my vitamins and I eat it like candy. It's supposed to do something <laughs> to me that's good. <laughs> well, that's different. This is on top of your skin. It's mm -hmm. not Got it. going or penetrating through your skin. <laughs> it's giving you that amazing finish that you want and that nice sensory feel. So mm -hmm. I can't eat that? No, you shouldn't eat that. Okay. <clears throat> Check. No, it's good, not cosmetic. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> so do you all know your skin color? Mm. Br uh, brown? I know it in Kinda? regard to like Fenty. Yeah. 390. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, oh, um, I'm, a, I'm a sand, unless it's July, that I'm more of a caramel. Makeup artists as well as color chemists use a color wheel. So. Does it have to do with the undertone that they were It does, about, yes. It does have to do with your undertones. So this is the color wheel. And when you're picking out shades for your foundation, it's gonna be neutral, cool, or warm. Straight down the color wheel is yellow to violet, which is neutral. On this side are the cool tones, which is yellow, green, blue to violet. And on this side is the warm tones, yellow, orange, red to violet. Rainbow, got it. Yes, Roy G, Roy G Biv. <laughs> I remember that from school. Right. How do you know what category you fall into? If I'm looking at your skin tone, just based off experience, I see a lot of yellow, but I also see warm. So I would go into the warm. And if you look here, this color wheel has Mm. Oh, I see. This a gradient. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh. So you can see that you're in this area right here, the orange tone. See, that's what they need to bring to Sephora. Yeah. They yeah they but do. they probably need me too in Sephora. Yeah. 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 For you, hmm, getting warmer. You're getting warmer. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> um, you're kind of golden yellow. Okay. In there. And for you, Wheelie. you're more, you're definitely warm. You're in this section right here. So that's colors. So tell me about your experiences buying foundations. Mm. Wolf. Yeah, it's like um. try, <laughs> if at first you don't succeed. Um, I think like mm -hmm. I usually opt for a matte, but my skin is like on the drier side. See, I need full coverage for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's just in my mind because back in high school I had horrible acne mm -hmm. and like scarring, but like I'm still in the mindset of like I need full coverage right. matte. But I, I've tried so many different brands but Fenty, Rihanna pulled it out. I finally found my color because before it was such a struggle. It's the hardest part. Yeah, I've had a hard time too. I just try all different things. Like I go into mm -hmm. Sephora and I throw things into the cart and I right. just like give it a shot. A lot of people have those problems, but understanding the chemistry behind it, like I mentioned earlier, is really good because then you know what's good for your skin type mm -hmm. and you also know what color tone to go towards. Wait, do you ever make your own foundation? Of course. Wait, so you don't even mess with the Any of the brands. Right. Since you already know how to make your own foundation, would you ever consider doing your own line? Oh yeah, I would I would love to. Maybe one day. Uh, yeah. You tomorrow. Should. <laughs> you should. So now let me show you how I formulate my colors. Ooh, mixing. So this is the base that I made earlier. It is a water and silicone base. Okay. And before we do that, I want you to feel this. It's slightly matte. It's liquid to powder type of feel, okay. and it's lightweight. Rub that in. Thank you. So rub that in. Ooh, it feels really creamy and nice. How's that, How's that feel? feel? Oh, it feels great. I yeah. love that. It feels amazing. That's what you call the comp chemical composition. You want to get that nice sensory feel first. And then you go into the color tones. So now we're going to add these pigments to get the right shade. I'm going to hand you these palettes because you guys are going oh my God. to Thanks. Mix your own color. Yeah. So these are the pigments we use, yellow, blue, and red. That's 
funny. You wouldn't think blue would be in foundation. I've never thought of that yeah. ever. You would be scared of it, right? Yeah. Who, who wants this on their face? But blue man group. These colors cancel out each other. The yellow cancels out violet. The red cancels out green. And the blue cancels out orange. What do you mean by cancels out? Basically, when you're mixing colors, you put in the opposite color to neutralize it. So you use various amounts of the yellow, blue, and red to cancel out each other and get into that brown shade. Okay. So if you mess up and you put too much of one in, you can use the other to cancel the it out. The other one to cancel it out, exactly. Mm -hmm. When my under eye circles, I have like crazy hyperpigmentation on my face, and I always put like the most orange pigmented oh, yeah. under eye concealer to it's cancel like, out the mm -hmm. like the purple, because it mm -hmm. looks like almost like bruise. Combine all three of these Ooh, colors geez. together. I'm not, I'm not gonna fail this class, I promise. <laughs> when we combine all three of these pigments together, we're gonna get various colors of browns, and then the white will help us lighten up. Measure out about maybe 50 to 100 grams. So satisfying watching mm -hmm, it go in there. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add a little bit of red. Just imagine you making this at home. Right. <laughs> Your friend comes over like, what are you doing? Just mixing my foundation. You making dinner? No, making foundation. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna add the white yet. I'm just gonna mix these two because the yellow's already in there. Oh, what's that? This is a homogenizer. Breaks down the particles into smaller size so it wow. can blend better. Oh. That's so cool. Do you see how that's turning into a brown color? Yeah. yeah. It's like Chick-fil-A sauce. It does. It really does. Hungry. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get a little lighter, you add the white, for example. Wow. Wow. That's cool. So that's... smooth. Oh, man. I forgot you were trusting us to do this, too. Yes, I am. <laughs> you can do it. Cafeteria line. <laughs> I'm sick waiting patiently. The ASMR of it all. Good. What you want to do is you want to add some of that yellow in the middle right there. Okay. And then a dab of the red. Oh, put way too much. You're right. <laughs> that's okay, listen. because we're going to use the blue to help neutralize Balance that. Balance it out. Mm -hmm. So that's probably like an orange on the color wheel, even though you're seeing red. Mm -hmm. So the blue is going to go in there and cancel out that orange tone. You know, I hope eventually this matches me right now. It's a little bit on the cherry side. That red is pretty powerful. It is. <laughs> Baby steps. Uh-oh. You're getting closer to your skin tone, huh? I'm getting there. <laughs> Something's happening. Overachiever. <laughs> Reminds me of in Sleeping Beauty when the fairies are like, blue, pink, blue. Anybody? Just me? Just me. <laughs> I'm doing something strange, kind of. <laughs> oh, whoa. Miranda, yours looks cool. It does. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so Drew. Yeah. You want to try that on your hand and see how close you are to your tone? Okay, so you need to go lighter. You just need some white. There we go. And remember, in the lab, I'm actually weighing. Right, right. And I'm calculating. So after doing this for years, you start like you remembering. Start remembering, yeah. yeah. Like, who came up with this? Do you ever think of like whoever saw popcorn pop for the first time? <laughs> Trippy. Yeah. Or like a caterpillar turn into a butterfly? Dude was like, yo. I gotta tell someone. <laughs> Miranda, you try it on yeah. your What do you think I need? What do you think you need? Think about the color wheel. Ooh. I mean, that's really pretty. It's like a pretty blush. It. I know, it doesn't match at all, but it's really it's pretty. pretty. What, what do you guys think she needs? Blue? Blue over here, which would be yellow. Yellow? Uh-huh. Little bit mine's of yellow. Mine's like, um, right here. almost a little purpley. Oh, whoa. It doesn't look like that on oh. the palette. Miranda's closer now. I'm getting closer. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you're getting super that's, close. Yeah, that's really good. Better. Looks like everyone's got it. Yay. That's oh, wow. Good. Yeah, you guys think right, we killed it. so let's it. test it. Okay. Moment of truth. Seriously. Yes. Our final exam. Oh, my God. Yeah. Pretty good. That's nice. Wow, it looks pretty nice. Killed it. Not bad. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, nice. All right, I'm ready. And you're next. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh man, so now I have to get an A2 because both of you guys passed. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, nice, amazing. I did it. Oh my God, I hope I did it. Okay, and let's see. <laughs> huh? Ooh, that's huh? lovely. Oh wow. You guys. That's perfect. Yours that's like the best one. You get yeah, like an A plus. perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. You're a natural. Yes, you guys, we did it. We did a really good job. Really good. I know. I'm proud of us. Light matte, nice powdery feel. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. 
Get in there. Oh yeah. I'm never gonna look at a bottle of foundation the same again. I'm Amazing. You, they need to do this in school. Can yes. In class. Also, Miranda, thank you for adopting thank you. us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming to the set. Yeah. <sighs> this is amazing. You so have cool. Much fun with you, guys. you have a really cool job. This a is really cool job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a scientist. Oh my God. It's like Dexter's laboratory. <laughs> you guys, for even more clever style, click right on over there. Also, check out Miranda's show, Mission Unstoppable. It's why we got to do this. Yes. Everything you need to know to check out their YouTube channel is down in the description box below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm.